Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, let us see how to configure the Kubernetes cluster using the cube ADM method. Okay, so I have configured uh, three virtual machines with the Ubuntu 22.04 version. I have one master and two worker node and uh, there is one utility node here and uh, I have installed the mobile XTEM. So basically uh, you need uh, three things. One is the virtual box and uh, with that second you need to install the Ubuntu virtual machines. You can go with the uh, Debian or uh, CentOS based uh, virtual machines. So here I'm using the Ubuntu virtual machine and uh, third one mobile XTEM. So from here I'll be executing the commands so you can download the ubuntu from the ubuntu website so uh, this is my uh, master and uh, this is worker node one and this is worker node two so to configure this kubernetes cluster with the uh, cube adm at least uh, we need a uh, two gig ram or more so minimum it required 2 gig and at least 2 CPU for the control plane which is the master node. So for worker node you can uh, you, you can go with the one CPU as well. But for the uh, control plane node at least 2 GB of RAM and 2 CPU required. Okay, so in this uh, uh, Kubernetes uh, cluster we will be using the Kubernetes 1.29 version. So before that, uh, I have configured the etc host with the uh, IP address and the host name so that uh, I can access using the host name as well. Okay, so I'm using the multi execution mode so that I can copy paste uh, the commands in all the master and the worker node instead of doing it one by one. Okay, so first I'm going to enable and load the kernel modules. Using this command. Okay, and uh, then disable and uh, turn off the swap partition. Okay, so next I'm going to update the sysctl settings for the Kubernetes networking. Okay, and uh, next uh, I'm going to install the the container runtime. So I'll be using the container D here. Okay, let's wait for this to be completed and uh, next uh, we'll be configuring the repository. Okay, here installing the container D.
okay so next uh, run this command Okay, so next uh, we'll be configuring the Kubernetes repository. And uh, in the next step, I'm going to install the kubelet, kube adm, and kubectl. So all will be 1.29 version. Okay, so till now, all these commands we need to execute on all the nodes all the master and uh, worker nodes and uh, once this is completed the next step will be done only on the control plane which is the master node okay so this will take some time based on your uh, internet speed Let's wait for this to be completed. Okay, so let me exit from the multi-execution. And now I'm going to run it on the control plane. So this is my control plane. Okay, and uh, this is my control plane IP address 192.168.0.121. Okay, so let me uh, initialize this cluster. So here the API server advertise address should be the control plane IP address and uh, this going to be the pod network which I'm using 192.168.0.0 slash 16 and uh, Kubernetes version 1.29 okay so this might uh, take a minute or two depending on the speed of your internet connection And you can also perform this action in beforehand using the kubeadm config images pull so that it will be quicker. So let's wait for this to be completed and then we'll proceed next. Okay, your Kubernetes control plane has initiated successfully. Okay, so here it is uh, using the kubeconfig and uh, the super admin admin.conf and it's creating the static pod manifest API server controller manager and the cube scheduler. Okay, so to start using your cluster, you need to run the following as a regular user. So if you're a regular user, then you need to copy this and execute. And alternatively, if you're a root user, then you can export this config and use the cluster. Okay, I'm going to copy this file.
Okay, let me copy this. Export, okay. And uh, next I need to install the Calico. So for that, uh, I'll be using this GitHub uh, to get the manifest file. Okay, now let me run the kubectl get node. Okay, so the control plane status shows not ready because uh, we just uh, created the Calico networking. So it will just take a few minutes to, you know, up and running and then the status should be in a ready state. Okay, so now we can see that uh, control plane is ready. And uh, next step would be joining the worker node to the control plane. I can use this cube ADM join to join the cluster or else we can use the QBADM token create in case uh, if this is expired and uh, if you want to add a new you know worker node to the cluster then you can use the QBADM token create command and that will generate this hash key and uh, you can then join to the cluster. So now I'm going to use this one. Okay, this node has joined the cluster. Run cube CTL get node on the control plane. So now if I run kubectl get node. Okay, similarly, let me run it on the worker node 2 as well. Okay, worker node 1 is ready. Now let me proceed with the worker node 2. Okay, this node has joined the cluster. Let's wait to get this show up as a ready state. Okay, so this is the internal IP and uh, this is the image I'm using and uh, this is the container runtime and this is the version. Okay, this is the Kubernetes version. Okay, or kernel 2 still not ready.
okay so now we can see all the nodes are ready state okay let me copy paste to this here because uh, if i sign out and uh, then the export will be gone again i need to export it so to make it consistent let me run this command okay keep ctl get node and for command auto completion we can just configure it keep ctl get nodes hyphen o wide okay so these are all the name of the cluster one master and two worker and status ready and this is the kubernetes version and the internal ip and the osmh and this is the kernel version and this is the container runtime so we are using container t Okay, now let us uh, just quickly deploy one pod and just verify that so for using imperative method we can use kubectl run pod name and image equal to nginx Okay, pod created. Can check kubectl get pod. Okay, it is running now. Kubectl get pod. Okay, so we have successfully deployed the pod and it is running fine. So to check more, iPhone O void, we can see that it is deployed on the worker to node. Okay, so to manage this cluster from the uh, util server or a jump server, you can install the kubectl uh, tool and then you can just copy the um, copy this file so that uh, you can manage it from the util server as well. Okay, so that's it uh, in this video and I'll see you in the next. Thank you.